on any one painting, it is an it is a, an all-encompassing process. So in setting this one up, I want to show you first the inspiration piece for this and what else I have cre created in the studio that will support this painting in coming, coming to life. So first of all, this painting is the inspiration piece. This, the commission piece is is going to uh, a private residence in California. It will hang on a marble fireplace. Uh, it's in a great room. It's going to be in a great room. And the ceiling is um, 14 feet tall and the marble fireplace is seven and a half feet wide. So um, my client has picked out this as the inspiration piece. mixing up some earth colors. And um, this is going to ground the painting and um, provide some brilliance and um, glow when I start putting the, the other colors on top of it. There's something, I'm also gonna need a stool Obviously. So the thread of this inspiration began actually about uh, six or seven years ago. Uh, during my residency in France. And those of you who have read the Embrace the Mountain book about the France residency um, will remember that there's a part about floating in the pool in, in Provence where I think maybe this painting was actually, um, came out of the ethers. To get the color foundation that I want, I have put the on the um, on the big piece. I have put the gold ochre down um, as the base foundation, and then I have come back in and blocked in uh, the purple, uh, deep purple, and the uh, orchid purple. So the uh, the gold ochre is a uh, being an earth color, it's going to ground the painting. So when anybody looks at the painting, everything will feel feet on the ground and um, situated and comforting. So people say that my paintings feel soothing and energizing, uplifting all at once. This is, this is why the foundation is very feet on the ground with the earth colors. And these um, foundational colors also, uh, the purple is the seventh chakra, so we're talking about the connection to spirit. So we put you on, you put your feet on earth and you put your head up there with spirit. Uh, my experimental pieces over the weekend, I'll just give you a quick tour of those. There's another one here, a little guy. This is just a block in. And these other two here on the table are mid-process. And in here, I'm playing with some ideas of uh, weaving, uh, drawing, uh, etching lines in it with the palette knife so that it, um, it starts to feel like fabric. Um, some of you know that I really, really love fabric, so I'm scratching away at it here. Some of it's um, drawn, um, etched striations and the paint is both opaque and translucent. And this canvas is 
of four by six. And this is one of my scarves. So the scarf is, um, is designed from a pastel that I did. Now the pastel painting is maybe 1824 or somewhere in that. So I had it enlarged and printed on this um, silk. And I really love the colors and I stretched it out here yesterday and I am just oozing my, my this is like I can taste these. I, these are going on this canvas with a big gold brush. So that's what's, that's what's feeding me here right now. And it's, and it's a major component in what's going to happen on that other canvas. started drawing into the wet paint. This is an oil pastel for those of you who are curious about that. Tip it down a little bit. So my 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 concept is um, I really really like fiber and fabric and uh, for years I felt that my fab my paintings were fabric and vice versa. People often say that and so in this series, I'm uh, playing with all of that uh, idea of um, knitting the, the strokes like crosshatch strokes and that these would be knitted stitches or woven stitches and weaving the colors under and over each other so that your eye has to uh, mix them um, in the process of viewing the piece, therefore you become a participant in the artwork. I'm doing more block in on this today. This is still a little bit wet, but that's fine. And I will just be blocking in some more uh, earth colors, uh, greens, and um, I may introduce some of the blues. And once again, for those of you who may be joining, ooh, where is it? Yeah, yeah. There it is. Um, this is the inspiration piece for the big painting. So this is this is a commission piece and um, the finished piece will will be inspired by this, but it is not intended to be a copy of it. So we're gener I'm gener generating you know new new work here. Mostly what this does is more, con it connects me to the canvas because it's like sandpaper. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm rubbing the earth, the sandpapering, then I'm grounding myself. So I'm grounding my energy in with this every time I work, every time I scratch and draw in this fashion. <laughs> 